Okay, so I'm about to get out of bed. It is 12.40. Um, I tried staying up late last night, so that way I can condition my body for staying up late for the next couple of nights over the draft period. Um, so I can watch all of the draft. Um, but yeah, it's time for breakfast. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm going to have a six egg omelette. some mixed herbs okay so I've just changed my mind and I'm gonna be making scrambled eggs instead okay so I've got breakfast sat in front of me now and whilst I eat I'm gonna be watching some of the NFL Network's coverage of the draft morning Okay, I've got Malik, Malik Willis. Okay, right. nice. okay. You, he was just talking about Trey Lance, and the comparable I'd say to Malik Willis is Trey Lance, right? The the arm strength. So I do actually agree with this statement. I think Malik Willis has the highest ceiling out of all the quarterbacks in this draft, if not all the prospects in this draft. Um, I think he has amazing arm strength, which he showed at his uh, Liberty Pro Day as well as the draft. Um, and he's also a dual fit quarterback, so he can run the ball very well. Uh, if needed. Um, however, I don't think he's the quarterback which I would expect to start in the game straight away. I think Kenny Pickett is the most uh, NFL ready um, quarterback out of uh, out of the draft prospects. Um, I think he'd suit the Carolina Panthers or Pitt Pittsburgh Steelers right now. They're both in need of uh, a starting quarterback. I think Matt Corral is a good quarterback. I really like his uh, his quick release ability, the way the ball just shoots out of his hand. Uh, but yeah, I do think Malik Willis has the highest ceiling out of all the draft uh, quarterback prospects and prospects overall. Some of the stuff you actually commemorate him for. His, his name, name is Joseph Bernardi, and that's my middle name. Aiden Joseph Bernardi Hutchinson. So he was named, uh, I was named after him by middle So I'm currently watching some of the NFL's build up to the draft uh, and I'm having my first meal of the night really. Uh, it is half past 11 so I'm going to have this and make some notes as well as watch some, um, watch some of the NFL Network draft build up. Okay so the draft starts in 10 minutes. I want to see so excited. I can't wait to see who uh, everyone drafts this year. Uh, I especially can't wait for, to see who Washington draft this year. I think there's really three people that we, uh, we're we probably going to be able to get. So the first one is Carl Hamilton, safety out of uh, Notre Dame. Then Chris Olave, the wide receiver out of Ohio State. And the third is Drake London, the receiver from USC. So the Jags are on the clock and I honestly can't wait to see who they select for the first pick of the 2022 NFL Draft. Whoa! I thought they were going to go for Aiden Hutchinson, but Trayvon Walker is the first player selected. There's really only one way for the New York Jets to go. There's been a trade. Washington have traded with the New Orleans Saints the first pick of the draft for them. So the New Orleans Saints are on the clock. Yes, we have a receiver. We have a receiver for Carson Wentz next year. I'm so happy that we've actually got a receiver now. 
uh, to go alongside Terry McLaurin. I'm just going to put my hat on. I am very happy with our first round pick. Uh, we needed, yeah, we needed a receiver to go alongside Terry McLaurin in our offense, and we've got that. I mean, the number of players that we saw on your top players available. With the 20th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Kenny Pickett. Okay. I mean, I, I did think he was going to go first out of the quarterbacks. I didn't think he was going to go this late, but I did think just before this selection was announced that he was going to be go now, as uh, he's the most pro-ready quarterback, I think, out of this draft class. So that is a wrap for the first round of the draft. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. So uh, round two of the draft starts in half an hour. Uh, I can't wait. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm really excited to see here Washington draft tonight in rounds two and three. I've got my pasta sat in front of me. I'm going to eat that whilst waiting. Uh, but yeah, can't wait. So, David Ojaba has just been selected uh, by the Ravens as the 45th pick. Uh, and I'm very happy for him. He's a British player, so he's truly an inspiration for a lot of us. So, I think that makes him the first ever Brit to be uh, drafted. With the 47th pick of the 2022 draft, the Washington Commanders select for Darren Mathis. Tackle, Alabama. I thought we were going to get a skill player, either a DB or a, a receiver. So now we go for a defensive tackle. Uh, uh, we've got a very strong D-line uh, once Chase Young's back. Um, so it's 2.30am and I've made myself another bowl of pasta. Yeah, I got hungry. With the 98th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Washington Commander select... Brian Robinson Jr., running back, Alabama. Oh, running back, yes. nice, nice, nice. So that's our second Alabama player of the day. So uh, I'm back from throwing. It was just a little like chill session with Reese. Um, now I've got to shower because I'm going to a music video shoot. Uh, so that was gonna be fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna shower now. And yeah. So I will get to the shoot now. Um, I will see you guys uh, in the morning when I sum up the whole draft our whole uh like how well i think we've done uh, but we've just uh drafted sam how qb so uh very happy that we've drafted a qb now to learn under uh, carson wentz and maybe even 
outpace him depending on how well each other do this year. But yeah, very excited. Okay, so that is the end of the draft. Um, Washington have made all their picks. They've signed their undrafted three agents. So uh, I'm just going to go for them now. In round one, we signed Jahan Dotson uh, from Penn State, a wide receiver. He's 5'11". Uh, in 2021, he played, he played 12 games, got 1,182 yards from an average yards per catch of uh, 13 and average yards per game at 98.5. He also got 12 touchdowns in the last season. In the second round, uh, we drafted a six foot four uh, Alabama tackle known as Federian uh, Mathis. He played 15 games last season with 12 tackle for losses and nine sacks. In round three, we drafted Brian Robinson Jr. from Alabama as well. He had 271 attempted rushes last season with 1,300 yards, well, 1,343 yards with an average yard per carry of 4.96. He got 14 touchdowns last season. In round four, we drafted Percy Butler, a safety from Louisiana. In round five, we drafted Sam Howe uh, North, from North Carolina, quarterback, as well as Cole Turner, uh, Nevada, tight end standing at six foot six. In round seven, we, we drafted two guys. We drafted Chris Paul uh, from Tulsa University, guard, 6'4", uh, and Christian Holmes, Oklahoma State University. And our undrafted rookie free agents were Cole Kelly, Southeastern Louisiana University, a QB, standing at six foot seven. Jacques Azard, Sam Houston State University receiver, standing at five nine. Our last signing was Curtis Hodges, Arizona State tight end, standing at a big six foot eight. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out my socials below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.